Hello and welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty in NCAA Football 2003. Today we're taking on the Missouri Tigers, but let's take a quick look at the coach report card for head coach Ralph Kress. Three games into our fifth season here for the Bulldogs, we are 43-15. and 15. Our longest win streak was 20 games in a row. We were only 1-3 and three in bowl games though, and that was the year that we won the national championship against the Central Florida Golden Knights. Our average attendance has been 37,398 fans filling the seats here in Starkville. And they want us to keep doing what we're doing. Changing the ingredients of success is unwise. We started off the season with a loss to Miami, and we've won two straight games against some pretty good opponents, Fresno State and the Washington Huskies. So let's get right into the game against the Missouri Tigers. And the opening kickoff, and the game is underway. Back deep to return from the two yard line is Jamar Dalton, who has had a number change to number four, and that was a great return up past the 30 yard line. First and 10, Jeff Terry is the starting quarterback now. He won that last week, and Orlando Webb has a nice catch here to the 42 yard line. Terry going to throw it again. No, he is sacked back at the 48-yard line. The crowd not happy. Terry pressured again. Running around the field like a madman. Past the mid midfield and doesn't get back to the line of scrimmage. So that is another sack here for the Missouri Tigers. And that's not how Ralph Kress wanted his offense to start off the ball game. Tigers on offense. Roberts gets the toss in the open field. Past the 40. He'll get past midfield and to the other 40-yard line and tack on 15 yards. George Tyler with a 15-yard face mask. Roberts on another toss play here. He'll get another first down, another big gain. And Roberts averaging 26 and a half yards per carry already. Barnes, the fullback, hurdles a player and breaks the tackle of Garcia, our freshman middle linebacker. Tigers on top, 7-0. John Pena, the trusty tight end with a nice catch over the middle. Eight-yard pickup. Third and five. Terry, all day to throw it. And he's going to take off instead and get taken down one yard shy of the first down. But they go no huddle here. And Terry's going to scramble up the middle for the first down. Diving past the 40. Gutsy call from Ralph Crest. Deep in his own territory. Here's Jamar Dalton. Past midfield, past the 40. What a spin move getting to the 35-yard line. Second and 10, Terry on the option, pitches out to Dalton, they both get popped. And Jeff Terry has injured his knee on the play. He will return in this game in about a quarter. So Napoleon Watson comes through and he is gonna take a shot deep and he hits Ron Hawkins, the freshman wide receiver for the huge touchdown catch. And he has been outstanding this season, really shining and becoming a huge playmaker for this Bulldogs offense. Anytime you throw a jump pass out to Ron Hawkins, he will come down with it nine out of 10 times. Score is all tied up at seven apiece here. Weber has a nice five yard completion and then overthrows his intended target. So the Tigers will have to punt the ball away. Back deep to return, Jeremy Tate from the 34 yard line. And he's gonna have a nice return here and gets it up to the 48 yard line. Mark Dalton on a carry up the gut. He'll pick up seven and tack on five more yards. And Robbie Ballard gets stuffed here on a toss play. He's really not a sideline to sideline runner. He's more of a straight up and down the field. I'm not sure why they did the toss play there with him, but it didn't work, and the Bulldogs have to punt the ball away. And there's a nice catch for Sexton. George Tyler, the only one that has a chance to catch him, and he is not going to bring him down. Sexton to the house. 14-7, Tigers back on top now. Watson taking a shot right side, caught and dropped by John Pena, the sure-handed tight end. Tigers get the ball back again, and Neil Nelson crushes Roberts in the backfield for a big loss on the toss play. Neither team really getting the toss plays going here in the first half. Bulldogs defense piss poor this season, 443 yards allowed per game. Weber taking a shot left side, incomplete, and the Bulldogs get a stop. Jeff Terry back on the field. After that injury, he's going to take a deep shot to Ron Hawkins. Pass midfield, deflected away at the last second. What a play by the cornerback. Third and 18 now. Terry 
Rolling, he's got Roy wide open and he'll get the long first down, a 19 yard pickup on third and 18. There's a look at Roy's career numbers, 13 catches, 270 yards and one touchdown as Kenny Harding picks up five yards up the gut. Terry to the air again, rolling out right side. Roy wide open again, past the 35, inside the 35 to the 32 yard line. This offense seems to be gelling quite well with Jeff Terry in at quarterback. Here's Roy again over the middle. This time he tries a one-handed catch and drops it. They will send on Mike Randall for a 49-yard field goal attempt, and that is right down the middle. What a leg. 14-10, Tigers still on top of the Bulldogs here in Starkville, and there's a great catch by Odom as Frank Stanton tried to spin around and deflect the pass. Second and eight. Weber sacked, and that is Neil Nelson blowing up the tight end. His first sack of the ball game. Defense fired up. The crowd is chanting. They want more. Here's a deep pass. Deflected away by Frank Stanton. A great play by the cornerback. That'll get the Bulldogs the ball back. Second and seven now. Terry rolling out. And he'll dive for the first down at the 20-yard line. Six carries, 15 yards today for him. And over the middle, Thomas Roy gets crushed, but gets the catch. And here's Robbie Ballard picking up the first down. A huge run up the middle. He's got 16 yards on four carries today. Terry has John Pena wide open over the middle. And a nice spin move actually makes the defender miss. And gets the first down. Less than three minutes to go. Thomas Roy wide open over the middle. Quickly becoming Terry's favorite target. And Terry's going to take off again here. Getting close to the first down marker. They do give it to him. Terry pressured. Rolling out right side. He'll take off again. Getting it inside the red zone. And steps out of bounds at the 15 yard line. Eight plays. 75 yard drive currently. Two minutes off the clock. Jamar Dalton to the outside, and he's got the corner for the touchdown. Bulldogs take the lead. 17-14 over the Tigers here in Starkville, Mississippi. Roberts with a nasty spin move puts Michael Galar on skates right there. Less than two minutes to go. Caught by Roland right there. I'm not sure how Weber got that pass to him, but a nice play. Weber going to take a shot deep, and he overthrows his target by five yards. So the Bulldogs get the ball back here. Play action from Terry. Rolling out left side, scrambling. And he'll pick up six yards. He's now got 42 yards on the ground. Second and four, 108 to go. Terry's going to scramble again. Jukes out a defender and gets to the 33-yard line, getting up to 53 yards for the day. Terry taking a shot right side to John Pena. No, that is Kevin Davis, the big sophomore wide receiver. And that's a huge game. 42 seconds. Terry on the option again. Jamar Dalton's got it. Nice spin move. And he'll pick up eight yards. Dalton has 52 yards on the ground. Here's a play action from Terry. Going to the end zone. Caught and dropped by Orlando Webb. He did not want the touchdown. Mike Randall on for the field goal on fourth and three. The kick is up. And it is good. So at the halftime score is Mississippi State on top 20 to 14. They are sixth in the country, by the way. I don't know if I showed you guys that. Mike Randall on for the second half kickoff, and that is six yards deep, and that will be down by the Tigers. Weber on the option here, stiff arms. Michael Gallari fumbles the football and is recovered by Mizzou anyway. Third and five, Roberts crushed at the 26 yard line. That was Michael Gallar. Coming up with a huge hit. Bulldogs back on offense. Dalton breaks loose to the left side. And he'll pick up 9 or 10 yards. Very close to the marker. Third and 7 now. Terry. All day to throw it. He's going to take off instead. Hit as he throws it. And that is a sack. Zimmerman with his third of the season. Tigers get the ball back. Finch with a nice tackle for a loss on Roberts. That makes it third and 7. Weber. Scrambling around, sacked, and that is Garcia, the freshman middle linebacker, getting his first sack of the game, first of the season and his career. Jeremy Tate at the 29-yard line, jukes a man out, and then spins out the same defender, gets it up to the 43-yard line. Another nice return from Jeremy Tate. Kenny Harding picks up seven yards. 
He'll give it off to him again, and he'll pick up five more and a first down. Bulldogs continuing their success on the ground. Ron Hawkins deep, and he'll get it inside the five-yard line. Another jump ball, and Hawkins comes down with it. He is a big-time receiver, folks. I hope you are as excited about him as I am. Two catches, 77 yards, and Kenny Harding punches it in from two yards deep for the touchdown. 27-14 is the score here in the third quarter. And that pass is caught by Sexton, who is now at 98 yards receiving on two catches today. Play action from Weber, right side, he hits Barnes, and Finch tracks him down close to the first down marker. And they gave him the first down, second and 10 now. Deep right side, caught by Odom inside the 25 yard line. Less than two minutes to go. Barnes, the big fullback, rumbles up for five yards. He's got 21 yards today. Roberts up the gut. He'll pick up the first down on the ground. Last play of the third quarter. Weber, shot to the end zone. Finch deflects it away. And then this will actually be the last play of the third quarter. A field goal. Kick is up, and it is good. So going into the fourth quarter here. Bulldogs on top, 27-17 in front of their home crowd. And Terry up the gut. He'll pick up the first down. A nice 13-yard carry. He's got 65 yards on the ground today. Terry over the middle. Thomas Roy again picks up nine yards. Second and one, Jamar Dalton picks up a first down. They're having great success today in all facets of the offense. Here's Kevin Davis over the middle. Nice seven-yard reception. Second and four. Ballard was wide open, and instead, Terry throws to the right side, and it is deflected away. They send on Mike Randall for a long field goal attempt. The kick is up. It had the distance, but pushed it just to the right. The score is still 27-17, as Roberts picks up eight yards on the ground. Second down. Weber takes off. He's going to get this first down, and a bad spin move gets him to the 45-yard line. Second and eight. Weber over the middle. Ewing wide open inside the 20. Inside the 15 down to the 12-yard line. Blown coverage there. The safeties had no idea what was happening. And Weber to the right side. Caught, and they gave Odom the touchdown here. Bad refereeing here. Look at, at this replay, folks. In no form of football ever is that a touchdown. That is not even close. So the score is now 27-24. Dalton gets the counter. Great blocking by Kenny Harding downfield. Springs Dalton loose past midfield and out of bounds at the 47-yard line. First and five, 340 to go. Dalton's going to pick up another first down with a great juke move on the safety. He is now over 100 yards for the day at 107 and a touchdown. And Terry's going to throw the ball here. He's going deep to Ron Hawkins again inside the five-yard line. He is unguardable. My goodness. Over the 100-yard mark receiving today for Ron Hawkins on three catches at 110 yards. Robbie Ballard will punch this one in, and the Bulldogs have the 34-24 lead over the Missouri Tigers here in front of the home crowd. And Frank Stanton gets an interception at the 35-yard line. He's going to return this one inside the 10 down to the 9-yard line. What a play from the number one cornerback on the team, his second pick on the season. Terry going to the air here, third and goal. Less than two minutes left in the game. Terry scrambles and is taken down short, so they will send on Mike Randall for the field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. Bulldogs now have the lead, 37 to 24, with less than two minutes to go in the game. 1.30 to go now, as Oda makes another nice catch. Only 97 passing yards for the Tigers today, and they almost throw an interception to Finch right there. Fourth and ten. This is the ball game. Left side. Allen has it. They're over the 100-yard mark for passing today. But that did not get them the first down. Bulldogs need one first down to end it. And Robbie Ballard comes in and he finishes the ball game. Jeff Terry, player of the game. 13 of 24 for 242 through the air. And I believe he had about 70 yards rushing as well. Bulldogs win it 37-24, folks. That was a statement win. Jeff Terry comes in and definitely solidifies the starting quarterback spot. He can ball, folks. He's got a nice deep pass. He's not the most accurate. Napoleon Watson throws a better ball, but Jeff Terry just makes more plays. 
24 first downs today, 511 yards of offense for the Bulldogs. 234 on the ground, 277 through the air. Sack three times, no turnovers for the sixth ranked Bulldogs today. 621 total yards. Bulldogs scoring every quarter, 13 in the second, 10 in the fourth. And Watson was 2 of 7 in his short time on the field. 35 yards and a touchdown. Terry, no touchdown passes today. Mark Dalton, 110 yards. Terry with 67. Robbie Ballard with 35 and a touchdown. Everybody had a rushing touchdown today except for Jeff Terry, who had zero touchdowns but a bunch of yards through the air and on the ground. Ron Hawkins, 110 yards and a touchdown today. Thomas Roy, 76 yards on six receptions. Both of them guys are just beasts. Scott Richard, Left tackle, a lot of sack today. Neil Nelson, five or six tackles, two for loss, one sack. Garcia had two tackles for a loss. Dennis Garcia also had a sack, his first of his career. Frank Stanton with a pick, two deflections. Finch had a deflection. He actually had two, they didn't count one of them. Mike Randall, three of four today. His miss was a very long attempt, and it was close. He just pushed it to the right a little. Jeremy Tate doing pretty good in returns today as well. Our next ball game will be out next Tuesday. That'll be the sixth-ranked Mississippi State Bulldogs, who are 3-1 on the season, traveling to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, to take on the unranked 3-1 LSU Tigers. I'll see you guys for that one next Tuesday. Take it easy, guys.